Hello pigs, welcome to Elliot Nash, King of Come, part four. <clears throat> part four. I like this because it makes me look like one of those ninjas. Do you know what I mean? You know when I'm walking. I'm gonna walk. You know, it looks like. You know, as I'm walking down the street, you get Wah! people are going. <laughs> anyway, how are you holding out, guys? I hope you're doing okay and stuff with the virus and everything else. Not good. <clears throat> I think there's a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions, don't they, about. Um, viruses and things especially the el the old the elderly people bless them i'll never forget my granddad years ago you know i went around to his house to see him you know and i've i've gone into the storeroom you know like a it's like a uh what how would you call it uh yeah a little storeroom basically you put your mops and brushes and things you know and i'm about to open it to get the brush out because there's something on the floor don't go in there i'm going what's up what granddad what what do you mean? What? Don't go in there. I've put the computer in there. It's got a virus. I went. A, a what? It's got a virus. Your grandmother's been down with it for the past five nights. She can't get her breath gone. What? The computer's got a virus. Ah, I've been told. They told us. Took it to the shop. They said it's got a virus. I shit myself. Mavis, your grandmother, she said that's why, you know. She's not been able to get her breath for the past four and I said, no, 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 Grandad, no, no. The computer virus is the, no, it's got, Ellie, it's got, listen to me, God, it's got a virus and it stays in there. Mm. This was years ago, you know, this was before the, the, the corona, I'll, I'll never forget it. The old ones are funny, you know. There was a next door neighbour that used to live next door, you know, he was called Harry. And one day I'm out in the garden, yeah. And I'm just doing, you know, doing a little bit of gardening. And he comes walking down, you know, the, the fence is only low. And he comes walking down, you know, like the pathway, you know, he's like, all right, 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 yeah. He had this, you know, like, rufty voice. You know. Me and Mavis were just going out, doing a bit of dogging. What? You're doing a bit of dogging? Ah, bit of dogging. What you young uns are doing outside of great outdoors. Mavis wants to try it. She's, she's feeling a bit adventurous, aren't you, Mav? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like 76 and she's like 81. <laughs> dogging, going dogging in the park. I mean, for crying out loud. I didn't go and watch or anything. No. The great outdoors, you can't beat it, can you? I was in Canada. That is a beautiful place, especially... Just change colour from screen. Beautiful place, you know. And there was a friend of mine there. And he um, he had an outdoor shop. You know, like where they sell, like, fishing rods and line and tents and things, you know. But he was, a, he, was, he was a homosexual guy as well. And he had the perfect name for it. It was called Camp and Ducks. And I thought that was perfect, you know, like, bearing in mind of what, you know, he's a homosexual guy. And, you know, he owns an outdoor shop and he called it Camp and Ducks. You know, he used to stand at the front of the door, you know, and greet his customers, you know, as they come in. Welcome to Camp and Ducks. You can get anything you like in here. Things that go bang. Fishing rods, tents, line, anything you want. He's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I was reading somewhere the other day about sneezing, you know, you should never suppress a sneeze, you know. Apparently as a guy did it, you know, like he held his nose and he blew his eardrums out and shit himself. Oh, oh. Be careful. If you're going to sneeze, just let it... It's giving you a bit of medical advice, you know. <clears throat> I was just listening to a bit of uh, Morrissey, you know, because I'm in Bangkok and I like to listen to English 
music, you know, the, the Beatles and Oasis and stuff, and a bit of Led Zeppelin, and I was listening to a bit of The Smiths with Morrison. I can't help thinking some of his songs, you know, they're, they're a bit on the depressing side, aren't they? You know, when you think about it, you know. Every day is like Monday. Oh, oh fuck it. Every day is silent and grey for fuck's sake. In the seaside town, they forgot to close down. Then he goes, I'm a getting, come, I'm a getting, go for fuck's sake. You know what I mean? Some of it. But still very talented, and the music is very original and good. It's not all depressing, it's great, some of it, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to do a short one here, okay? This is, was, Elliot Nash, King of Calm, part four, Toodles, peeps. Stay healthy, stay good, and I know you are missing me.